If you are looking for important topics to prepare for your coding assessment which were recently asked and most important categories of question that you can expect in your online assessment or you might be wondering what all topics repeated many times in previous year and those topics are also repeated in this year as well. So all of these problems will be resolved in this video because I analyzed more than 200 to 300 problems. Not only me, my team as well, we, we did extensive hard work to find and analyze the repeated patterns, P by Qs and stuff as we created a coding sheet as well which has n number of PYQs and the current problem which were asked to 24 batch and after analyzing the problems that is currently being asked in September or August shifts all these shifts uh, we took into consideration and the PYQs as well and in this video I will let you know the intuitive graphs stuffs what all the topics they are interested to ask you guys so this video will be very helpful for you to crack your online assessment so yes there's a small request Coding question and interview experience, if you want to help your peers and juniors to prepare for the same, you can share your experience to us through Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, email or on my LinkedIn. You can find all the links in the description. There is everything is given or there's a link tree link. You can just click that. You will find all the links at the single point and you can reach out to us and share your experiences, which will help your peers and juniors to prepare for the company that you prepared for now as you can see the very first graph okay without wasting time we are just here coming on the point which is common question categories for essential coding assessment now you can see scenario based and logical problems okay so now what do you mean by scenario based or logical problems like simple equation type and more story has been created but uh, less work to do okay they just try to manipulate you somewhere but most of the time the problem statement is very easy but the story behind that problem statement is bitty law so you need to be very focused on the scenario based on logical problems where you just need to use your logical mind and sorting and searching types of problem where you need to sort your arrays most of the time the question were asked regarding the sorting now if you talk about the sorting concept it is for sure that you are using two pointer approaches so yes the two pointer approaches is being trend in this particular shift and you can expect in your shift as well and why i wrote searching because searching is a sub part of equation if you continuously watching all the shift solution that i'm uploading one of the shift also has sub part where you need to find something in the array okay whichever you got from the first task and the second task is to find that particular thing into the array whether it exists or not. So yeah, searching, searching and sorting consist of all these that I mentioned just now. Now bitwise operator. Guys, this is a most ignorable subject. People usually ignore this. But in this shift as well, in the PYQ that we research, everywhere the bit manipulation question is there. Either it is in OR, ZOR and much type of co-prime, prime. So you can expect these types of bitwise operation questions as well where you need to know about AND, you need to know about OR, you need to know about ZOR, you need to know about NOR and stuff. So these were the questions that was asked. So if you if you have not prepared bit pen, bit operations, bitwise operations, so I will highly recommend you to watch these types of questions or try to watch all SIF solutions that I uploaded. Okay, now mathematics and number theory, which consist of mathematics means some equation based, like uh, how you can find the edges, number of edges, the vertices are given to you, like V minus V1 by 2, and how what would be the sum of an AP, GP, these types of questions was also asked. As well as I want to uh, add something here is logical operation. Either you want to consider it into the bitwise or in the mathematical number theory, where they, they where you need to convert something into decimal, decimal into something hexadecimal, octadecimal. So this types of stuff. So this is the also most important question that was repeated in this August and September shift as well. So do focus on the logical operation as well. Now string manipulation. Now how many substrings you can found, how many subsequence you can find, whether let me know which uh, character is repeated in the string, let me know, remove the vowels and let us know about the consonants. These are the questions that were asked in the recent August shifts. So yeah, string manipulation plays an also important role and error manipulation. 
Array manipulation is n number of question is there. Prime numbers, numbers, traversals, sortings, manipulation, rotating, counts, everything we'll see in detail in this video. But what you can find in this particular situation is they didn't ask more about non-linear data structures such as graph, DPs, and much more recursion and stuff. Only the easy kind of for the standard problems they asked. So you need to prepare according to this. Okay, if you prepared all this, then you can move towards the non-linear stuff as well. Now, you can see a frequency algorithm in a sensor problem. Now, you might argue, Aditya, much sort, quick sort, what do you mean? In this particular thing, the underlying logic of much sort and quick sort is required to crack the aptitude round as well. Okay, the aptitude round where you will get some questions on core subjects. So you can expect, okay, what will the time complexity? What is the underlying principle? So if you want to answer these types of problems, you should know the underlying algorithm of this. And in the merge part, merge sort part, you have a merge section as well because continuously you are calling the recursive function. Then there is a merge function who will start divide and conquer and stuff there where you will get a sorted list and you need to create a fully array which has been sorted putting and comparing each and every uh, numbers or element present in A and B array. I hope you got this intuition because because this merge two sorted array problems was recently asked in August shift. If you watched this type of uh, solving videos continuously, if you don't believe my word, you can find the links uh, and the current uh, a current shift solution on my channel just head over to that you will find a question related to merge sort as well and underlying principle of quick sort binary search also because few of the question demands to find something into from the array in very less time so if you talk about less time and your array is sorted the binary search comes into the picture as well as our linear search is basically used in most type of array manipulation questions so you should focus on it and bitwise manipulation also has a good level of bricks in the consideration because you need to do bitwise operator if you are still ignoring it's it is recommended to do that right away so Array manipulation concepts, what all concepts they asked, okay? Uh, it is all about the research that I'm talking about. It may be like they will start a new trend from now onwards. But this is the current going trend that I'm discussing with you. So multiple questions are, are based on operations such as rotation. Recently, like yesterday video I uploaded is based on rotation. Counting elements, you need to count the number of elements which is present in it, whether the count is prime or not, so some type of sub-task sub problem you can expect in your inter uh, OA, online assessments. And finding specific thing from the array. Occurrence, like how many times this occurred, how many times this occurred, like subs. First and last occurrence and second last largest element. So second largest element is repeated i guess thrice in august shift if you watch my all videos shift solution you can find that this problem has been asked continuously either second largest either second smallest or both of them asked in a single problem example reverse array find the missing number find the last occurrence or first occurrence so key concept that you need to do is understanding array traversal indexing and efficient man manipulation using loops and built-in functions is crucial in this array manipulation subject. Now, if you see about the questions that we found, which is rotate an array, reverse an array, find first and last occurrence, finding missing numbers, unique elements, maximum permutation value, second largest number, finding minimum number, second minimum number, and uh, largest and second largest number. So you need to do these types of problem as well and make this a to-do list where you will cover all these problems. And you can see frequency, approximately 30 to 40% of coding assessments include array manipulation questions. Okay, it is not on the based on current trends. It is in taking consideration of all PYQs as well as the current trends. But if you see the current trends, I would say 70 to 85% of the times they ask the array manipulation problem in your online assessment. Difficulty level, generally easy. I would say very easy because the code is being lengthy, but it's upon you how you are generating your code depends upon the question because most of the things you can ignore, but they return that so that they can burn your unnecessary time burn your time unnecessary so you need to focus on it so to medium level with topics like rotation searching basic basic sorting algorithms the time complexity which plays a most important thing most optimal solution runs in o of n and o of n login making these soluble within the time constraints okay so this is the all about array manipulation of mathematic operations Topics related to basic number theory and operations on numbers such as power of two checks. 
yes product of digit are common see the question is the question hint is given here example would be power of 2 product of all digits sum of prime numbers or sum of the numbers which is present on the prime index so this is also problem that were asked in august shift so key concept knowing how to implement number based operation efficiently is important especially using bitwise operator and modular arithmetic a b g p and modulus of something which covered here okay so you need to prepare for mathematical operation in this manner so you can questions that you can expect which is decimal to binary which is the important problem as well as if you are studying this do study how you can convert binary to decimal and toggle all bits all bits after msv which is more significant bit in uh, binary power of two checks find sum of primary number till n a prime number till n product of digits to n supermarket pricing format okay like you need to generate a bill of a given object or number of things that a user bought so these types of question you can expect mathematics and number manipulation 50 to 20 percent okay but i would say i guess 50 percent of the time or i would say yeah 40 percent would be the reasonable mark where the, in august they ask you the question related to logical arithmetic or mathematical stuffs in the paper so bit by manipulation appears 5 to 10 percent which has an also an important percentage of coding assessment so you need to do bitwise manipulation for sure sorting and searching algorithm several questions based on sorting and efficient searching techniques often organize data to extract specific information from array as i said just now in the graph as well they are not asking you the direct question on this they are asking you to use their functionality to use something or to solve some task so example sorting items based on risk severity second largest number so you can find this types of question either in the sheet or either in the other types of format okay so key types key concepts mastery of algorithms like quick sort merge sort or binary sort is often required to solve these okay searching sorting frequency is 25 to 30 percent which is legit of assessment test sorting and searching algorithm difficulty would be sorting risk based or performing binary search in generally easy to medium expected complexity would be sorting methods are expected to o of n log n while searching is typically o of log n so please make a count of sorting and searching because i explained this topic in the graph system as well now shandeep shubham adish these are the people who recently crack essential TCS and QT prime digital role in 2024 uh, year or 2024 batch I would say so you can be the next you just need to have a mock session with us where we will take one hour of uh, technical intuitive technical session as well as the 15 to 20 minutes of HR session after that will give you the full feedback on your resume what are stuff that you need to modify personalized feedback on your mock session what things that you need to improve what thing that you are not able to represent well how you can study and the suggestions and stuff considers of all the uh, consists of all the roadmap support guidance and everything that you require to crack and everything that is required to convert your interview opportunity to the offer letter and make your parents proud so so for that you just need to hand over to primecoding.in you can find n number of company cards whatever thing that you're preparing for whatever company that you are preparing for you just head over to that and we'll meet you in the session and crack the particular portion that you're looking for so bit manipulation so there is a focus on toggling bits which means if it is one you should convert to zero or vice versa checking condition at the bit level such as finding binary representations and performing operations on them so example would be toggle bits after most significant bit decimal to binary conversion as well so key concept would be proficiency in manipulating binary numbers using bitwise operator which is and or zor is essential okay string manipulation if you talk about a few questions focused on string operations like finding palindromes handling characters count determining repeating characters okay so these are the basic questions that we saw in the previous year as well as the current time these are the question topics that i mentioned so first repeating character longest palindromic substring so key concept that you need to do which is string manipulation involves traversing and modifying string data efficiently while considering edge case like empty string or spaces okay so the portions that you can expect longest substring first repeating character in string longest increasing subsequence in string words vowels consonants counts so these questions if you do I guess most of the cover, most of the pattern that you can cover in this types of problems or after doing this, please have a look on the shift solution as well. Now, 
Frequency would be 20 to 25 percent. Yes, because it considers good number of marks because sorting plays an important role. In string, sorting also plays an important role where you need to sort the character as per the ASCII values. So difficulty, most medium level uh, require efficient solution of OF and time complexity. Miscellaneous logical problems. These include problem that is fit into the categories above like refueling vehicles or stabilizing systems. These are the scenario based questions that I'm talking about. So example would be refueling vehicles, stabilizer system, key concept requires logical reasoning and sometimes greedy algorithm to optimize a solution. It may be the scenario, okay, I'm talking about the scenario based problems where they illustrate or give you a story where you need to find the logic from it and code it up, okay? Now, logical scenario based question 10 to 50 percent, it is not that frequently but difficulty would be over medium to high level because the story is created in a complex manner so that it can consume more time of yours so you need to be very concise on spending time how much you need to give on the particular question so solution most candidates should aim for a solution between 20 to uh, 15 to 20 minutes for each of these problems now key algorithms to focus on sorting algorithm quick sort search techniques binary search linear search bitwise manipulation bit toggling and zor operations or any of the logical arithmetic operations or logical operators common mistakes to avoid off by one errors in array manipulation okay missing edge cases like empty array or strings because most of the people directly write the code after reading the problem but they don't see the constraints so if you see the constraints you will get an idea of an edge boundary and corner cases so do tackle that so inefficient brute force solution when optimizing is required so i hope you got whole concept of common mistake to avoid now the preparation resources that you can opt for for preparing tcs and qt all things all shifts all array based problems all recent class problems we i did in this particular playlist everything has been added you can follow up essential playlist to crack essential each and every shift problems sheet problems coding sheet which is trendy most of the problem are coming from it and the Cogs cognizant capgemini tcs and qt shifts everything is uploaded you just need to head on here and you will find n number of resources on my channel so thanks for watching for watching till now do consider subscribing it if you have not like this video and share with your friends so that your friends can also do something in your future and i will meet you in the new video soon